Hi everyone, and it's uh, Corona Life here at uh, Congo Club Coco in Congo, New South Wales. And uh, today's a little project, a little bit chilly today, so we're indoors. And uh, what we're working on, what do we got? Um, that's right, there's a roast silver side. So um, uh, Coco actually slaughtered an animal last year, and the freezer out there is uh, is full of uh, wonderful meat. It's all really lean, apparently, not a lot of feed around last year. So we've got some really great cuts, and uh, well, just got the silver side thrown at me. So um, we're working on it. Now I've got a bit of coaching from my uh, old mate Sam and up there in Brisbane and he's given me a bit of advice about uh, the cooking process. So we're going to spend about eight hours in the oven. The uh, recipe or the, we put uh, a marinade, we put together a marinade, just something I found on the internet. So we've got, and I'll give you a little bit of a look at this because we had some fun with it. Here, come in and take a look at this. So uh, what do we got there? So we've got some, some whole grain seeded mustard, we've got some uh, olive oil, we've got some orange marmalade, a uh, bunch of garlic, actually, and a, I didn't put any lemon in there, so we, let's put some um, lemon in there, into the kitchen there. So, um, yeah, so it's, a, it's supposed to be eight hours in the, eight hours in total in the oven, according to, to uh, oh mate, uh, Sam, and that's at 110 degrees. We're gonna do that, so uh, I take it the old, the old lemon probably go pretty well in there. As we know, it's got an acidic type of behavior, so I'm probably gonna help break down this meat, although I don't think we're gonna to need to worry about that too much. Now, Sam, if ever sees this video, he doesn't do a lot of Facebook, but um, if he ever sees this video, it's probably be a bit harsh on me. He's, um, he's a big fan of the foil, disposable foil trays, same heat penetrates through and you get a more consistent flavor, uh, heat going across the dish where we do like to reuse things around here, so in our situation. Geez, that does look good, doesn't it? Anyway, so um, we'll stick that back in the oven. I might tune in later and show you how it's going. And uh, as we uh, just waste away the days here, it's kind of like, what do you do with all this spare time? I don't know. We're all sort of being asked to sort of act as though we're retired in a way and do fuck all, yeah? So um, anyway, cooking's not really something I do too much of, to be quite honest, to people that have uh, dined with me, used to me punching out a curry or some enchiladas in about no time at all, but here I am breaking into a whole new series of, um, of yeah, doing something with my life, even if it's just cooking dinner uh, in a slow baked eight hour type way, so. Anyway, back to the action um, in front of the TV. We've got plenty of things to worry about in terms of the world, but though, they, honestly, in Australia here, we're re do, really doing quite well, yeah. The um, our death rate is below 1%, you know. Um, we've got just 6,000 cases and they're struggling to find at the moment. And when you think about it, it's maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a thousand people in the world here in Australia who are carrying coronavirus that don't currently know it. Whereas, obviously, a deep empathy and to my friends around the world too, um, you have spoken to a number of you across the planet and I've uh, spent some time on Facebook or something speaking to you on uh, my deepest empathy. You know, I've got friends across Europe, across the US and other places in Asia. Um, but it's, my heart goes out to you because it's, it's terrible, obviously, what's happening out there uh, in the, uh, where you see death rates of 10% and we see mad amounts of cases. Even Turkey now starting to shoot up the numbers as well, where Australia, we seem to be, I don't know, we're well behaved, I think. I don't know, as a nation, we seem to, we've been told to stay home. We're going, hmm, okay, let's do that then. So, um, and um, it's kind of, uh, you know, to, to help cement us, we're just constantly getting the feed through the media here. Of course, I'm sure that's happening around the world. The leaders, the media are telling us to stay home. Where other places, well, the US, well, it's out of control there, isn't it? And there's a blame game happening, whereas the extent of our concerns, blame-wise, are what, um, you know, why did they let all those people off that cruise ship um, is the only instance. And, all that all being told, um, what, 50 odd deaths and 6,000 odd cases, you know, as we struggle to find more people in the community with um, coronavirus. But anyway, look forward to us being on top of this at some point in a little while, and um, I'll come out and see some more of you uh, traveling around the world uh, as I love doing, and obviously very happy that uh, of late, I've got a bunch of travel out of the way, and um, look forward to returning to the, uh, the flights and the travel and the trains, planes and automobiles that uh, I love doing so much, but anyway, more later on. Bye-bye.